Stay informed on earnings trends and analysis in Zach's Earnings Outlook. As the Q4 earnings season gets underway, we thought it'd be a good time to preview said season with our research director, Shiraz Mian, and so that's why he's sitting right here next to me. Let's get right to it, man. Sure. Q4 season showing... Um, Earnings growth, right, in total? What That's kind of right. growth are we talking about? Uh, small, modest, low single-digit growth, uh, but in the last many, many quarters, we would typically be in negative at this stage. So positive earnings growth, 3.1%. Total earnings growth for the S&P 500 and 3.9% revenue growth. I have a slide to share with folks. Uh, this gives the summary picture uh, the summary earnings growth picture uh, for, uh, for, for Q4, 3.1, uh, and it contrasts it with what we saw in, in previous quarter, you would recall, Q3 yep. was positive too, mm -hmm. though at this stage in Q3, the expectation was for negative mm -hmm. uh, earnings growth. And then I have a summary table which shows the entire 16 quarters, 3.1% uh, earnings growth and 3.9%. Uh, revenue growth, 1% X finance, 2.8% uh, X energy. Okay. Uh, so all in all, uh, a relatively positive story compared to what we have been seeing in recent quarters. All right. It's been a relatively quiet pre-announcement season, though. We do have to take note of that. Does that concern you, or does that just add to the overall positive tone of the season in general? I think it does. I think it's, it's the later. It's the, it adds to the overall positive tone for the earnings story in general. Uh, coming into the Q4 earnings season, we saw fewer negative estimate revisions um, and uh, that's that's been in fact one of the key uh, points in uh, talking up a positive game about the earnings story we saw something similar in Q3 as well mm -hmm. uh, the the uh, the key thing to watch will be uh, as to what happens to Q1 estimates uh, Q117 that is right. uh, so yeah that's uh, that's 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 a good thing all right, the, let's dig into the whole uh, beneath the surface of Q4 here. Earning um, energy sector, rather, on track to log in its first growth in Q4 after eight back-to-back -back quarters That's right. of decline. That's right. What's driving that? Two things. Number one, the uh, when we t when we talk about growth rates, we are talking about this quarter versus. Q minus four, uh, mm. the year earlier quarter. So the year earlier quarter was smack in the middle of that eight quarter uh, declining cycle. So comparisons are very easy. And then we have been seeing uh, consistently in 2016 this uptrend in oil prices. They have stabilized. Uh, it's in this in this 50s type of range, and uh, it's easy comparisons, better commodity prices. And uh, the, uh, the picture actually improves even, even further uh, as we go into 2017 and beyond. And there's something notable going on in the tech sector. What exactly do you expect there? You know, tech, uh, low single-digit earnings growth, uh, about 3.54% earnings growth, and about equivalent revenue growth. Apple remains a drag. Uh, it has been in recent quarters. That's the case this quarter as well. Uh, not as big of a drag as it was in Q3, but it's nevertheless uh, negative uh, earnings growth for Apple. Exclude Apple, and the tech sector's growth picture uh, looks a little bit respectable uh, in, the, in the high single digits. So uh, we'll be watching if uh, Apple's numbers come out to be much better than expected. We could have a, a pretty interesting story to tell in, uh, in the tech land. All right. The Q4 season opens on January the 9th. That is... Uh the day we're talking here, uh, and we kick things off with the banks reporting. Now, you see double-digit growth in the finance sector, That's correct? right. Yeah, finance is really uh, well-placed. I, I have a slide here that I want to share. Uh, the, uh, the highlighted uh, bar in that, in that slide is the Q4 uh, earnings growth expectation for the sector, 10.7%. Uh, earnings growth in finance, you could see that it was 12.3% in the preceding quarter. So strong growth and the outlook uh, for the sector remains quite favorable in the coming quarters too. One point I do want to point out about finance in Q4 is that the 10.7% earnings growth in Q4 is getting uh, a not so modest helping hand from easy comparison at AIG. 
they had a they had a, a, a loss in uh, Q4 15, and there is a two and a half to three billion dollar positive swing in their profits if you exclude that positive contribution from AIG, then finances Q4 earnings growth comes to about half of what we are projecting over here, about five and six percent. But overall, the setup for finance is very favorable. Uh, the, the, the interest rates uh, have been going up, uh, the outlook for the U.S. economy uh, is improving, and we may not see the full extent of that in Q4 results, but I suspect that management commentary uh, will reflect the upturn in interest rates, the, uh, the improved outlook for the U.S. economy and the impact of that on their loan portfolios. And then there's this talk about regulatory reform and right. tax law changes yep. and all of that benefits uh, finance sector. So the, uh, the, the outlook for finance looks, uh, looks particularly uh, positive. All right. While it all sounds positive at this point, before the season begins, let's, uh, let me ask you if earnings growth for Q4, something happens, it ends up being not so strong, right? What does that mean for stocks? So typically, relative to preseason expectations, relative to where we stand now, and we mentioned at the top that the expectation is for about 3, 3.1% earnings growth. Uh, so historically, it'll be two to three percentage points better than what is expected here. So it should come in, when all is said and done in another two months, mm -hmm. around six percentage points. If it's not that, uh, then that'll be a disappointment. But even more important than the growth rate, I wanna share a slide with folks here, which shows what is expected for the coming quarters. Okay. And the key will be what happens to current expectations for 2017 Q1. Uh, so the expectation all along was, even prior to the election, uh, of, a, of, a, of a ramp up and acceleration in earnings growth in 2017. Currently, the earnings growth for Q1 17 is for 9.5 percent, as we show in the slide. Uh, if those estimates start coming down at a sharp pace, mm -hmm. uh, and we briefly touched on this earlier too, you mentioned the uh, the relatively quiet pre-announcement period. Right. Uh, if the tone of management commentary, if the substance of the guidance is neutral to positive, then these estimates will hold up. I think if these estimates hold up, there will be a big support for the market uh, and should, uh, should, should push stocks higher. All right. Well, we'll be checking back. You can bet on that. Sure. As, as always, you can keep tabs on this Q4 earnings season by paying special attention to Shiraz commentary on Zax.com, both his earnings previews at the beginning beginning of every week during the season and his earnings outlook written commentary as the season progresses. With Shiraz Mian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.